Hello, I'm Hannah Wallace and welcome to Finextra. Today I'm joined by Jan Kumpfer of UniCredit and we're going to be talking about digitalization, innovation and the role of collaboration within the industry. Jan, it's great to be here in Munich. Thank you for having us. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. Firstly, what would you say are the main challenges your clients are facing today? Now, without a doubt, uh, it is digitalization, so the digital revolution happening right now. It's, uh, it's affecting all industries, it's affecting um, all sectors, and um, there's real disruption of business model, or at least the threat to disrupt business models. And I think people are reacting to it. They are looking also for the opportunities of, of this development. Um, people are putting more money into venture capital funds, financing digitalization, they're creating chief digital offices in their firms, etc. So I think this has uh, quite a bit um, changed the landscape. So, so we are all into this together, the banks and the industry. Um, I think there's a couple of challenges and a couple of opportunities deriving out of that. First of all, I, I, I do believe it's, it's an opportunity for the firms to develop new business models and really adapt to it and find new ways to, to, to provide in particular cu customer convenience. Mm -hmm. Then there's a challenge, I think, f also for us as banks because we need to understand whether some business models are under, under threat. And certainly there's another opportunity for us as banks to digitalization in our own shops. So we, I think we need to make sure that, there's a, that our processes and our offers and our products are on at par with what's happening in the industry. All right, and what would you say are the key drivers for innovation that you're seeing? I think apart from technology itself, um, the biggest driver is probably cooperation. Cooperation in the industry among different sectors, but cooperation among banks. We're seeing this more and more that banks jointly develop platforms and solutions. And then there's cooperation among new partner, there are new partnerships, for example, among fintechs and banks. And this is developing, uh, developing quite nicely, I think. Um, why? Because it's driving innovation and we put different strengths together. So we're putting together clients, which we have, f technology, which some fintechs nicely develop. And also then our ability to deal with regulation and regulatory environment. And I think this has changed a bit from um, from the, the threat of disruption to a cooperation model. So people understand that we have different strengths and that we can build them together. Normally fintechs have a very small slice of the value chain and so they're looking to optimize that and together with banks and their clients and their regulatory knowledge, I think it's a, it's a real new opportunity for, 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 for clients. Okay, and what examples can you give for us? Yes, sure. I think there is, uh, number one, there is uh, instant payments, for example. I mean, this is live since November 2017. We were one of, the, one of the first ones and still are the first ones in Germany to do that. So it's 24-7, really real time. We processed the first uh, cross-border payment, two and a half seconds it took from Germany to Italy. And I think there, there's, a real, uh, there's a real opportunity for clients because it will be the new normal. And hence, I think this is one example. The other one is uh, in the trade finance area. It's a platform we call We.Trade, where we are among the first ones in the consortium with a couple of other banks in Europe, serving um, SMEs in their trade needs on a blockchain platform. And I think this is really also, this is real client needs, which are driving this, which is driving this, and we're partnering with banks develop a technology platform. So we are, we're very happy about this development. There's going to be a, a first use product still this year, so in summer it's going to come, and we're going to go real live with real client solutions. And finally, looking forward, what's your outlook for 2018? Well, I think this, what I just described, is going to continue, and, and people, number one, will look at like real client convenience and customer experience, so they will develop portals, and we are developing portals and, and, and the infrastructure for, for real client convenience. And I think some of the technology use cases will further expand. We're going to see some blockchain use cases um, coming to life, like the one I just, I just uh, mentioned on We.Trade and, and, and a couple of more. And then there are some platforms which, uh, which are upgraded, like Swift GPI. Swift GPI is one where you said it's an old infrastructure, but it's now getting a new touch and it's really fulfilling the need because treasurers were asking us, where's my payment? So now what we are saying is, okay, we have a technology uh, where, where we can answer that question easily and convenient. And, and I think this is what's driving it. 
And hence, also here, we decided very consciously to be one of the front runners because it's serving real client needs, and that's the driver. Well, certainly some things to be looking forward to. Janis has been great. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching.